Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to build your own custom camera rig inside of Blender. So a couple weeks ago, I made a video on why and how you should use one. Essentially, it just makes your camera animation a little bit more realistic and uh, adds a nice touch to your animation. But in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to build one from scratch. And all I'm going to start with is just this camera object right here. It's placed right in the center, so it'll make a couple things easier as we add a few objects. They'll just be added right to the center there. So first of all, we have to decide when we're building a camera rig exactly what functions we want the camera to do. For me, I want one thing that the camera can focus on uh, because it's going to be you know, aiming around. We definitely want something the camera can focus on that is separate from where it's aiming, just in case we want to animate the depth of field uh, really easily, we can do that. And we want to imitate uh, a traditional camera rig in the sense that it has a nice dolly, it has the stand, it has the, the boom arm that can rotate up and down and do all that stuff. So it's going to be fairly simple and straightforward, so let's just go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an empty. So let's just add shift A, uh, empty, and plane axis. And this is going to be what the camera aims at. So for the sake of convenience, let's just rename this to aim. And the way to have the camera aim at something is just to use a track to constraint. So over here in the constraints tab, if we add a constraint and choose track two, and then choose the aim as the target, as we move this around, the camera is going to try to always track to it. However, it's not facing the right direction. And we can see that we definitely want it, what is now up and down, we want to be facing towards the camera. And so since we can see on this local axis here that right now the negative Z is where the camera is pointing and we want the Y direction to be the up and down, we can easily choose that right here. So two, we're going to choose negative Z and for up, we're going to choose Y because that's the local direction in which we want these to point. So as we move this around, we can now see that the camera is following along quite nicely. So that was pretty easy. Second of all, we're going to add something the camera can focus on in case we want that to be different than where it's aiming. Let's add another empty. This one I'm going to make a circle and I'll scale it down. I just made a circle because it seems like it's uh, fitting, but you can make it any shape that you want. So this is something we want to sort of always be in between these two and we want to just be able to grab it and move it along. Now. Uh, we don't really want to move it in the x direction or the z direction. We want it to stay in between these two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press N and then go up here to the location and then lock everything, scale, uh, lock the rotation, and then lock everything but the y location. So as we press G and move this, it's only going to move in one direction and we don't have to worry about it getting off track. Now the only problem here is that as we move this aim, this isn't moving with it. And we always want it to be in line between these two. So an easy way to get it to be in the right spot all of the time is to add a bone. So let's go Shift A, Armature, Add Single Bone. And that's just going to add it right to the base of the camera. We're going to go outside, go into Edit or Object Mode, and press Shift S on this aim, and Cursor to Selected. And that way, when we go into Edit Mode, we can take this tip, select it, Shift S selection to cursor, and that way it's just going to snap right there and we don't have to sort of uh, finagle it into the right position. It'll just be exactly where we want it to be. So this is kind of blocky and in the way. Uh, so in the armature settings over here, I'm going to go down to display and move that to stick. So that way we just have a nice uh, stick and it's not blocking our view. Now, uh, what I want to do is I want to parent this bone to the camera. So I'm going to choose that and then shift select the camera, control P, parent to object. Now as I move this camera, you can see that it's uh, always aiming in the right direction. And not only that, it's also going to be, you know, pointing towards where, where that aim is. And so what we can do now that it's always going to be facing the right direction, we can take this uh, empty, I'm just going to name this focus. All right, and I'm going to shift select this bone, control P, and set parent to bone. And now as I move this around, that's always going to follow, pointing in the right direction. And uh, as I grab this, I can just hit G and slide this up and down. 
and everything's going to work out. And so this is really handy because we can now animate our focal length really easily and uh, it'll stay true to what the camera would actually be. So I'm going to press Alt-G to move the camera back to the center right there and we can start building the second half of the rig. So we're halfway there. Uh, from side view, I'm go going to build the base of the rig and the arms that extend from it. So let's add another armature. This time I'm going to add a single bone and I'm going to move that right down here. Actually, I'll move it a little bit back. Okay, so this is going to be the very base. Now if I go into edit mode, I can move this down here and I'm going to extrude this up on the z-axis and I'm going to extrude one more time on the y-axis right over to the camera. And so this bone down here is going to be the base. Uh, so in the bone settings, we can actually name each one. So I'm going to call this base. I'm going to call this stand. And I'm going to call this the arm because um, it's going to be the boom arm. So now we just need to set these up so that they work like they should. So right now, we want the camera to always be at the end of this boom arm. So what we can do is in the constraints tab for the camera, we can add another constraint. Instead of tracking to it, uh, we're just going to copy location and the target is going to be that new armature. Let's rename this to camera rig. So it's easy to, easy to find. Okay, so we choose camera rig. We can choose which bone we want and we want it to be at the end of the arm and the head tail basically switches between the base of the bone and the tip of the bone. So let's just move this all the way to the uh, tip of the bone. And now as we, in pose mode, if we scale this or move it around, the camera is always going to follow. So I'll just Alt R, um, Alt G. Okay, so we have that, that is perfect. Now. I'm also going to set this to stick like we did the other one just to make it a little bit easier to see. And the last thing that I want to do is I want to basically constrain the stand to only move up and down because that's not something that's going to be rotating. You're going to be rotating and moving with the base or with the arm. Uh, you're not going to be doing anything else except scaling that up and down. So just pressing N, I can lock the location. I can lock all of the rotation and I can lock everything except the Y scale because this is going to be the local Y scale. So when I scale it, it's only going to scale up and down. So now I can select each of these individually and move them around. And it looks like our uh, aim got a little off track. It's now not pointing right where we want it to be. So all we need to do is in the constraints tab for the camera, let's take this copy location and move it above the track two constraint. Because what it's going to do is it's going to first copy the location of this and then after that track two. So it's going to go from the top of the list all the way to the bottom. So now as we take these pieces and in pose mode, we can scale that up and down, scale this up and down. We can scale that, move it, anything you want, it's always going to be aiming in the right direction. If you want this to stay on the floor, uh, you can set it on the floor and just lock all of the uh, locations, or lock the Z location, so that you don't have to worry about it going up and down in space, and you can move it in your 3D view uh, without having to worry about it being all weird. So, pretty short and sweet. This is how you make a simple camera rig inside of Blender. I hope you found it useful, armatures and Constraints are definitely very handy and make a lot of complex tasks very simple um, and easy to use when you're animating. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.